We have over a dozen patients who had such bad heart disease they were told they needed a heart transplant. And in just nine weeks of making these changes, their heart improved so much they were able to avoid it. I'm Dr. Dean Ornish. I'm a clinical professor of medicine at the University of California, San Francisco. I'm also founder and president of the nonprofit Preventive Medicine Research Institute. My new book is called Undo It because my favorite key on the keyboard has always been the undo button. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice if we had something like that in our lives? And now, surprisingly, we do. For the last 40 years, I've directed a series of randomized controlled trials and demonstration projects showing what a powerful difference changes in diet and lifestyle can make. And so what are these changes? It's basically a whole foods plant-based diet that's naturally low in both fat and sugar, moderate exercise, walking half an hour a day, for example, uh, various stress management techniques, including meditation and, and gentle yoga, and what we call social support, which is really love and intimacy. Or to reduce it even further, to eat well, move more, stress less, love more. Boom, that's it. What we're learning is that these simple changes make such a powerful difference in our lives. Most people find that they feel so much better so quickly. It reframes the reason for making them from fear of dying or fear of something bad happening, which is really not sustainable, to joy and pleasure and love and meaning, which really are. And as an example of how powerful these changes can be, I cite an example of uh, a guy who's a doctor himself who went through our program at UCLA, and he had such a massive heart attack that his heart was barely pumping. And he was told the only thing that would help him survive would be to get a new heart. And while waiting for a donor to a new heart to become available, he went through our nine-week program. And after nine weeks, his heart improved so much, it was pumping so much better, he didn't need a heart transplant anymore. And our approach is really about treating the cause and as deeply as we can. There's usually a, a causal chain of events that lead to a problem, whether it's on a personal level or on a global level. And on a personal level, what we find is that when you eat a whole foods plant-based diet, meditate, exercise, and love more, that often under your doctor's supervision, people can reduce or even get off these medications that they were told that they were going to have to take for the rest of their lives. And on a global level, what's good for you is good for the planet. What's personally sustainable is globally sustainable. And so when you make these changes, it's helping you and it's helping literally millions of other people who you may never meet, but who will benefit from these changes at a time where we're at a critical juncture in our history. And these changes really are imbued with meaning. And that meaning is what makes them sustainable.